Boom, ba -dum, la -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. What did it say there? Learning bump a dum. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu Gi Oh podcast. Tonight I'm joined by Bragg. Hello. And Lachlan. Hello. Ben has ditched us again. But Luke's here. Luke is here. Hello. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, as per usual, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? I'll start with Lachlan. Uh, yeah, so I re-downloaded YG Omega. Ooh. And I jumped in, and it was, I put Sword Soul together, and then I realised, like I asked Lewis for, for his Sword Soul list, mm -hmm. um, and then I realised you can't play it on Omega because it still counts as OCG cards on there. It does. Um, Up until so Thursday. then I rebuilt uh, Dynamist, like Mystic Mine. Uh, and I got into a game against Grand Maju. I won, and I wanted to die. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's where that's at. Was it just because your decks are like both in the same sort of category? Is like unexpected sort of? Oh, I won the game. It was just very like the deck's so boring that I only ever want to play it at like big events because it's the only time that it's worth my time <laughs> that to is play it. Fair, like. Yeah. I'm not going to get any better at the deck, and it is, like, it makes your brain turn to, to, you know that sauce that was in, like, the early 2000s, where it was, like, barbecue sauce, but it was, like, bright green? Oh, yeah, Shrek barbecue sauce. Uh, yeah, like Heinz squirts. <laughs> I think it's it makes it's your called. brains turn into Heinz Yeah, it squirts. makes your brains turn into Perfect. that. And there was the purple sauce as well. It was so good. I feel like he's just describing the Ninja Turtles pizza from Pizza Hut. Yeah, fuck that Pizza Hut. That also sounds dreadful. It's just pizza. <laughs> so, um, so because you're looking into Sword Soul, is that a deck you're interested in? No, playing? no, I'm no? poor. <laughs> I'm poor. I still have to decide whether it's worth my time to continue playing Yu-Gi-Oh! once I move. Like, because I kind of hate everyone in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I feel like I've made that quite known to everyone in Yu-Gi-Oh! That I rep... Gigi's Wollongong, and I kind of refuse to rep elsewhere. And so, even if I go, it might just be like a. I play Master Duel online a lot, and then I go to like regionals and stuff, and like big yeah. events, but I'm not sure I want to commit to another locals and such. I don't really want to build. Like, invest more money that I don't have when I'm already enjoying Digimon a lot. Yeah, look, you'd stick to what you like, I guess. Um, and then, Bragg. So that Pizza Hut. <laughs> what that was this year. Like? Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut. What, the... Pizza Hut. Um, yeah, the turtle. Yeah, they did it again that this year. This year? Yeah, they did it again they this year. They had it up until very... I swear they, they've still got it on the menu. So this is how non-Pizza Hut I've been looking. Because there's a Domino's literally a walk away from my house now, well, I don't pay any attention to Pizza Hut whatsoever. Who pays attention to Pizza Hut? I can't name I the last to. time I got a Pizza Hut pizza. That's the thing. Before... Domino's are everywhere. And I've got the best pizza joint. Uh, well, the second best pizza joint... <laughs> Well, I was uh, gonna say in the first right in the first live action movie, it's Domino's. It's oh, like the original. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They it's changed. after thirty minutes. The pizza's free. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do a watch along with that. <laughs> Wise man once said, "Don't pay full price for late pizza." <laughs> the fact that after thirty minutes, fifty percent off. So sad. It's such we a watched good that movie, movie so... two years. We should probably watch that movie again. It's so good. I reckon it's been long enough. We can watch that movie. It was like two and a bit years ago we watched that movie. Yeah. I mean, I can watch it a fair amount. Like nah, I'm going to be real. We watched that movie and we were like, we should not watch this movie again for a while. <laughs> As for my Yu-Gi-Oh uh, shenanigans, um, I'm waiting for that card that I ordered to arrive in the mail. I believe you are too. The spell. Oh, that card, yes. What yeah. card? Cross out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you get three? Yeah. I realised yeah. today when I was just thinking about it I was like well I actually don't know if this works <laughs> because I'm not sure does Crossout just turn off your opponent or does it turn it off on the field turns it off the players I realised today that uh, I could put three Crossout in like the Dynamist Mystic Mind and just use it to turn off my own like Mystic Mind for the turn and then go for game and if it doesn't work the Mystic Mind turns back on you but I, I sacrifice a Mystic Mind to do so you do and potentially turn on all your opponent's card effects in the meantime. 
Yeah, yeah. So it's a bit of a, you know, situation. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so while waiting for, like, I would be tempted to just run, like, bullshit, summon two monsters, her, her, dragoon. <laughs> but I might wait till crossouts get here. It does become a lot easier to do two plus two equals dragoon when crossout is also a thing. Yeah. I was thinking it was scraps. <laughs> cool. I ironically don't think they're that bad, because Nibiru is shit now crossouts out. If you main deck Nibiru, I don't know what Everybody to tell you. Everybody is, though. Um, and this flows quite nicely into my week in New Year. Um, so on Saturday, I oh, yeah, you actually did early something. enough to get to a tournament, uh, which was a winner box for the new uh, Burst of Destiny set Hell yeah. over at Strike One. Um, so it was a pre-release re- event. People were allowed to use cards that they pulled from the, the boxes that they were able to purchase, um, of which there were many boxes purchased. Uh, not by me. I bought one. It was bad. Um, Did you get any penguins? I got shit like penguins. Give. You haven't been in for me to give to. You were here two days ago. I didn't have the box with me. Mm. And I clearly had other priorities on Halloween. Yeah, clearly. Including throwing up on the carpet <laughs> and the wall and the floor. We've all been there. Yeah, no, you did that in my house. I did not throw up anywhere on your... In, I've, I've thrown you up... made plenty of mess on my carpet. Oh, yes. He pissed. <laughs> I threw a. I can only think of the a potato gem. I threw a potato gem at some dude off the balcony, and he caught it in his mouth. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, went to an event. Uh, so it was a five round Swiss with top eight cut. Um, of the Wollongong four that went, three of us did make it to top cut, including myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah from then on we just kind of kept versing each other I think no I versed Luke in top 8 uh, lost because um, Infinite uh, quite good yeah I, d- I just struggled to break the board um, and then uh, Luke lost the next one after that but Josh won so Josh ended up coming second um, but yeah it was nice to get back into uh, somewhat competitive play what does this Pokeball have stretch marks <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Um, yeah. Lachlan loves a sight gag. Just <laughs> I referring do love to a sight things. gag on our audio <laughs> podcast. Um, so that was nice. Um, and then at Locals Tonight, uh, went X1, losing in the finals to um, technically Earth Machines, but also to horrendous hands. Mm. Just like completely unplayable. I was looking at Are it you just saying going, Harry only got lucky to win? No. Like, <laughs> Are you saying Harry's a bad duelist? No. No, nah, of course not. Also, he's not listening, so even if I did. Um, I didn't listen to the podcast when he was on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't listen to it if you're on it. I listen to it sometimes. You would. I do. I think I've listened to like about 10 Mainly to see what still. actually stays in and what gets taken out. Um, so, yeah, that has been my week in Yu Gi Oh! Um, so, referring to last week, uh, we the, had. The thing we definitely planned last week beforehand, and I didn't just drop it on us mid thing because it came yeah, to so my it was mind. Yes, absolutely played all the time. Planned all the time, I should say. Um, our little challenge to each other of uh, what deck do. Oh, that's what it was. It was what the deck do. Yeah, what the yeah. deck do. What the deck doing. Uh, so, who wants to begin? I'll go first because I feel I like. I feel like it'll be nice and short. Yeah. So, I and Shane. Uh, was the deck given to me by Jake. I, we should remind them first what, what decks we got, I think. So yes. So I gave Bragg yeah, Weather Painters. Correct. Bragg gave you... I don't think he remembers. Punk. <laughs> and you gave me Iron Chain. I did, yes. So, um, as a quick overview, Iron Chain is a deck that came out in Crossroads of Chaos. Uh, it was used... It, it made a brief appearance in the anime. Um... Like very brief by um, some Donny, I can't remember the name. Armstrong, Mr. Armstrong, I think. Um, and it is basically a mill your opponent's deck. Like, so it right. decks out your opponent. Okay. Um, there are six total cards in the archetype, one being a, uh, a synchro, which is quite good. It was run a lot back in the day. Um, is there any viable level six? Yeah. The problem is this deck can't really summon it. So basically, they have Iron Chain Repairman, which is pretty good. It was used in a combo about three years ago to make, like, Firewall 
Um, it was basically it did kind of what the intro oh, combo it did. did. The loop. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. With firewall. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, kind of where it's um. Once per turn, you can special summon a level 4 or lower Iron Chain monster from your graveyard. So, it's a level 4. The Tuner is a level 3. So you the, think synchro that the Synchro is level 7. Is a level 6. <laughs> there is only one other Iron Chain card that's level 3, and it has no way to get on the field. Um, so, all decks now kind of have to run double summon to get out, it out first turn. You can make Halk in the deck, but there's no point. Um... <laughs> Uh, so, uh, there is also a spell, which, in the end phase, um, to each Iron Chain monster you control, send one of your, uh, a card from the top of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. Um, so obviously oh, so if you have, like, six, somehow. Right, okay. And you uh, have three of them, you can send 18 cards, and that's... Yeah, um, it's a lot of damage. It unfortunately in the current game, as fearsome as it may be, imagine doing that to BA or Salad. Yeah, or Iron Chain Snake that, like, also has an effect where you can. Um, it's kind of like a union effect where you can equip it to a monster, but you can yeah. only equip it to a monster your opponent controls. And when that card goes to the graveyard, when it's destroyed by battle, <laughs> um. Its controller sends cards to the graveyard from the top of the deck equal to its level. So that's another way to get right. a few cards in the grave. Um, I saw a Mystic Mind variant that just milled until the opponent died. But it struggles because you have to have monsters on the field to do so. So that didn't even work. Right. Um, this deck is awful. This deck is... Doesn't sound great. It is not... E I, I doubt this deck was playable when it came out. It... Has no well, it has six, literally one set of support. Yeah, six cards doesn't seem enough to make a competent deck. Um, this deck desperately needs just more, like three more main deck monsters. A link one that just special summons anything from deck with what no. With you and broken bro, link I'm, ones, bro. bro. <laughs> it, this is not going to break Iron Chain. It's not going to happen. Like hard once per turn, or like even like a trap. That does anything. No traps. And like a a level three because basically you have to run Crane Crane. Or like oh yeah. <laughs> Maraudering Captain to, to make Iron Chen Dragon. Like it, it's ridiculous. Um so yeah, you it needs more it's main deck support. It, uh, even like a it's a mix of warriors, machines and <laughs> reptiles. Right, so there's not even any cohesiveness over the actual main. No, game. Repairman is the um, summon from Grave, but and it is a level four warrior, so you can summon it off. You can do it his old. Yeah, you can summon it off his old day, but what's the point? Yeah, that's a um, lot to go through for the target that may not even be in Grave yet. So look, it needs like it needs a lot more. It needs like a structure deck worth of new support. Wonder if it. Did... I don't want to dive too much into this because I'm sure Bragg is raring to go, but I wonder if it featured in that, at, like the manga, whether there's manga cards that... Oh, that haven't been... Yeah. No, I checked. Okay. All the cards that were Good. in the anime have I been I fear that if I brought that up, it would, like, cause you to do a deep dive into the manga and see if anything would be released. But no. thankfully you've already done that. I haven't checked the effects to see what differences would, were made, but um, I know it's card for card what came out in the anime. And not just that... Despite the fact that all of these cards came out in one set, uh, Iron Chain Snake is just not listed on Yu-Gi-Pedia. <laughs> <laughs> Every other one is. It's not, which is incredible to me. No one's ever thought to actually list what its effect is on their website. No one cares about this deck. Poor Snake. The, the newest deck profile I could find was from uh, November 2020. Oh, that's more recent than I was maybe. Yeah, that was a lot more recent than I was expecting. Like, lit today's the second, literally a year ago. <laughs> Like, to the day. Okay. Uh, no, but from the terribleness of that archetype, when you said that, I was expecting, like, 2012, 2013. Yeah. I will say, it looks quite cool. I do, they like, do look cool. I remember the art visually cool. like I think the that's day. why I mentioned it, too, because I remember Iron Chain Dragon, like, being a very striking-looking card. And, but um... In fact, it's bad. What's the... Um, what's the spell called? It's called, like... Chain... <laughs> something. It's It's... 
very nice to look at. Change something. All right, thank you, Lachlan. Very comprehensive. Uh, Bragg, can you <laughs> can you match this? This so, uh, oh shit, <laughs> poison chain. <laughs> no, I found a, a oh guide to weather painters on on the on the internet. Oh my lord! <laughs> Written up by a. Reddit user. Um, let's, 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 let's. Visual gag. Uh, Bragg has produced a document. With about 15 pages. <laughs> Jeez. A dramatic reading is there... with Bragg. <laughs> this is the condensed climate control. <laughs> Wait, did it say climate control? Condensed. Post what? What? Post what? It said post. Post, ah, oh, part, post dark neostorm. So, for yeah, all you, for all you crazy cats. Yeah. Them. When's dark neostorm? It's been. Yep, when? Orcus. Like, yeah. Orcus. Yeah. yeah, I think that's where Crescendo and Ding came out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise. It's quite a good track from what I remember. Uh, their favourite one is I Do Not Remember. Cloud? <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't say my favourite. I'm going to say right. that it's Iron Chain Dragon. It's the best card. End the day. Where's their normal summon? Well, one of them's the normal summon that gets the deck started. It really relies on uh, Valhalla, uh, the old fairy support. Valhalla, queen, <laughs> queen of Valhalla, sit and on my trust. face. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much every combo for this deck is your normal summon one and Heatrice slash Hall of Valhalla. Hecatrice. And then it can kind of go into Heatrice. Hecatrice. Heatrice. There's another A in there. Yeah, I guess so. Look, it's definitely Hecatrice. What does that mean? This. Yeah, but what does it mean? Who knows what it means? If you delve into that with Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you're going down a never-ending hole. It's like um, the Ar- um, Arctic I knew was related to bears. Earth's Arctic? Yeah, because of that. Earth's referring to yeah, bear, I know. Arctic being but, polar? Well, <laughs> Arctic is, uh, is because of bears. Yeah, the polar yeah. bears. Yeah, well... Earth's Arctic. Yeah. Well... <laughs> The Arctic itself. Yeah. Anyway, we're not talking about bears. We're talking about pets. It's named after Hakate. Who is it? Goddess of Magic and Crossroads. Ironically, this card's effect involves Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen, a great hall in Nordic mythology. So it mixes two, like Greek and, and Nordic. Nordic. Nordic mythology, best mythology. We should do Unfortunately, mythology. most of it is scuffed. Bro, I am scuffed. <laughs> anyway, tell us more about weather painters. Oh yeah, so uh, Snow is the one you like. Yes. Uh, and then yeah, it all just combos from there with all the other bullshit. It all combo- how does it combo? Well, who do- who asked this for me? I'll just give you the guide. <laughs> <laughs> me, I ask okay. for it. So, for future reference, it's just meant to be a somewhat brief synopsis, but you need to know it. We don't need a document, a dossier, if you will, of the entire archetype. <laughs> Bro, I thought I was bad with Donald Fisk. That's the whole fucking... That's like 15 Remember pages when of um, Logan did this with ABC? It wasn't this bad. No, no. It, a lot of his was, was specific matchups and stuff. This is yeah. the deck. Look at that! Yeah, yeah. That's more words than Logan's so, ever written in his life. <laughs> that's, that's... Uh, it likes Kaiju Monsters for monster removal. It likes Pankatrops for monster removal. It likes every single hand trap in the game. Like, it, can it run D-Shifter? Does it need the graveyard? Uh, no, no, it does not. It prefers. It banishes for um, its activation. Oh, that's epic. Yeah, see? Dimensional Fisher, Macro Cosmos, also on here. Ah, oh, Skill Drain! I love this deck. Already. Anti-Spell is also very good because it places from deck. <gasps> this this guy also recommends Battle Fader. I can see off the first two lines is some sarcastic, yeah, why would you want uh, Battle Fader in Competitive Guide, which I'll take your word for it. So there you go. Pick up Battle Faders if you want to play this deck. There's a skeleton list of well, I can't make that out because it's black and white. <laughs> we'll just keep going. <laughs> Do you think anyone's ever printed this out before? Okay. Um, with that, uh, anyway, what they need. They need the red one. <laughs> I love it. This is exactly what they I They need the red one. <laughs> I'm, this is, this is this incredible. What without, I did... without reading the dossier, which one is your favourite? By name, without reading, <laughs> put it down. <laughs> Back. <laughs> Which one's your favourite? The li- I've always liked the Link Monster, the way it looks. Okay, that that's all I. I want. know, I know it. The... Oh shit! I didn't know the Rainbow Link didn't Monster. Did Dynamis beat Weather Painters in the 
I don't know. I thought you were keeping track of what Dino missed have won. Oh, yeah, that's right. This was in our water deck face off. No. Wasn't no, it? because no, this is that deck is the... not all water. Also, no, it's, it's everything. Enough. Um, it's not. <laughs> it beat it in the creator card. It's got card. rainbow. It beat it in the creator <laughs> card because <laughs> that Light, is Swarm, a stretch. <laughs> Light Swarm players voted for it against us. Because they also badly need support. Yeah, but like I said, they got a trap in um, the oh. Dingu set. Or Note, like I said, my like work stapler said. is broken. Yeah, I did pick up on that when I snatched the document away from you and nearly got tetanus. Um, I even did the heavy duty <laughs> stapler, and someone put normal staples in like the heavy, like in the heavy one. Oh, the office is a nightmare for people doing stupid shit. And I'm like, why has this happened? Can't wait to shit in the photocopy. <laughs> It's not quite that a nightmare, Jesus Christ. But back to the bears. Yes. <laughs> no, away from the bears. And on to punk. Oh yeah, that's right. Yes. So this is an archetype that's coming out in Grand Creators. Of the three, it's the worst. Yeah. Um, well, actually, not of the three of these decks. Oh, well, of the three of these top two. No, no, <laughs> I, I would argue that Weather Painters is better than this. And really? Let me explain why. So... The archetype is based on different Japanese uh, performing arts. Um, I would name them for you, but I don't want to sound racist. Um, like pornography. So, <laughs> so it's made up of a heap of different arch- archetypes, but it's similar to mutants in a way. Can you not? Sorry. I'll let you talk through your garbage. Oh, sorry. So the mutants are all made up in the smaller monsters of level 3 psychics, similar to mutants, so they can uh, abuse e Yep. Um, and basically they all have a similar link to psychic types in that they pay 600 to activate their effects and it's generally to uh, search different cards from the archetype yep. um, they all have a separate effect on field as well when they're either targeted for an attack or a card effect that they can each then do something like draw a card send a card from deck to grave um, and stuff like that but realistically the end point of the deck is not to have them on board they're to get to other things okay um, one of the main ones is um, you pay 600 to summon the fusion from your extra deck which is a fish fish yes it is a fish like rare fish I mean rare fish is a fish yes and so is whatever this thing's called carp or something what the fish and aqua different but like um, anyway. reptiles are still elegant um, yeah so that um, the fish then uh, attributes itself to summon a tuner and a non-tuner from deck so that you can go into their boss monster, yeah. which I think is called like Amazement Dragon or something like that. Um, I've heard something like that. Yeah, its artwork is amazing. I remember it being revealed when it first came out. It's, um, it's a level 11 synchro dragon. Yep. Um, oh, and okay. when it's synchro summoned, you can uh, target the number of cards on the field up to the number of the small punks you have in graveyard oh, no. and return them to the deck. Um, That's not bad. It's not bad, but it targets, so it's not as good as Adam Antipater, um Drag Eye. Or the fact that you can just summon, for, for level 11, you can just summon the Trish, uh, level 11, you could Synchro, and non-targeting Banish 3. Yeah, that's true. But, like, in Archetype, you know. Yeah, and, like, considering the levels, like, you could almost make Trish in that deck, because I'm pretty sure two mm. of the level 3s are tuners and two of the level 3s are non-tuners. Okay. So you could naturally make it. It'd be quite difficult. Um, and then they have a selection of spells and traps as well. One of the spells is really good in that it makes um, any monster battling into a construct once per turn. So if it battles a monster, destroy it before yes. damage cap. Um, you've got a destroy a set card, but if you control a face-up punk, it destroys a face-up card, or it can destroy any card. Oh. Um, you've got an imperm, um, and if good. you control a punk, you gain life points equal to the monster you negated. Like it has an imperm from hand. Just no, 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 not quite that good. Just, oh, okay, so it's like a, just an Ian archetype. It's more like breakthrough like skills. Breakthrough skills. You sure? Um, so the main point of this is effectively to grind out, search your spells and traps, survive the turn, and then summon the synchro, bounce stuff back, and punch. Um, if you um, use the fish as part of the synchro material, the synchro can attack twice, but at, at the same time, you're using the fish to get the material for the synchro. On yeah. board, which is kind of annoying. Yeah. Um. So the yeah the main part of it is to get the big synchro on board, bounce everything back, and start punching for damage, and using the other cards to sort of stall out. Um. Its biggest problem is that it's not easy to get to. It's a lot of material that you have to run through. Like e coming to two helps it a lot, but it's still not good. Um. Its best part is by far and away the dragon. Hmm. Like that's the only real form of assault that they have. 
Um, the spell's good, but it's not enough to carry. Yeah. Um, and what they would probably need is something a bit more consistent to actually get to their synchro or something that allows them to synchro off turn so it's a bit more offensive. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, like, something to... Yeah, something to synchro off turn would be incredible. I think then to have that uh, return to deck. Yeah, being able to do that off turn would honestly, like, turn that deck around. And there's probably cards that you could look at to do that like anyway. Like Synchron or something. Yeah, I think that was a relatively new... Even... There was a relatively new Synchro um, spell that came out. It's like, return a tuner from your grave and then Synchro with monsters you control. So they could possibly exploit that a little bit, but I'm not sure if it has any restrictions. Mm. Um, but yeah. Um, and I can't remember if I said it already, but my favourite is the dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we ask Oh, him sorry, no. Any... Oh, you said red. Yeah, yeah he said red one. Um, <laughs> so, I changed my mind. I remembered one thing. Uh, my second favourite is uh, one of the level threes, whose name is Something Something Punk Seaman. Oh, yep. <laughs> No, uh, we no love, punk semen. We love semen here. I wonder what, it's gonna, wonder what they're going to call it here. Unironically, no. semen's their best card. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Of the non synchros. Pay 600 to add one punk monster from deck to hand. That's pretty good. Except semen. Oh. Yeah, semen doesn't create more semen. Why 600? They're all does. 600. <laughs> yeah, why? Because that's what psychics do. You see, you only start with three semen in the deck. You don't ever get more. Yep. Is there is there any significance for the six? Sometimes you can bring the semen back, but sometimes you don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> so no. that's what punk do. You never want to. Yeah, that's semen. that's really well done there. Well done. Well, not really. I watched a video for like three ah. minutes on my lunch break, and that's what sunk in. Is that today? Yeah. That's what I do. <laughs> as well. I printed oh. this off and barely read it. Yeah, I know. yeah, we picked up on that. <laughs> I, I am going to take that off you though, because I kind of want to read it. Yeah, I'm pretty Jesus keen. Balls. Um, all right. So we get new decks now. Do we just want to reverse the order? Because <clears throat> I thought this was a pretty cool segment. What that deck so. do? Yeah. What that deck doing? All right, I started last time, so and I chose Bragg immediately, right? So you this did. time, Bragg, you get to give me a deck immediately. Off the top. Well done, I man. Okay, you get to go first then, Jake. Uh, so I'm giving Bragg a deck. Yeah. Um, I have to try and pick something new because he's going to know all the old stuff. I am going to give you. Um, oh shit! Now I need to think of something. Fuck. Uh, I'm going to give you. <laughs> he's just scrolling down, I'm trying just, to find I'm the just first scrolling time. Down. <laughs> I'm just scrolling down. Um, it's not going well. Oh no! Oh god! This deck is just called random deck. This oh god! Funny. Oh yeah, that. Do that. What? Earth's Arctic. Oh yeah, cool. Well, I'm gonna hit you with some sweet bear facts next week. Hell yeah! Like, yeah, actually. Oh, okay. I'll as long as those bear facts have something to do with Earth's Arctic and how they work, then that's fine. No, gay bears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What about otters? I didn't know it was a thing until very, very recently. And eh? otters, it's like a. It's like bears, but not hairy and kind of skinny. Oh. And then bash the shit out of shells on their stomach. Yep. Yeah. Uh, anyway. A deck for you, yeah. Mr. Lachlan Coon. It could be a little bit... Oh, ninjas. Like, yep. All right. <laughs> I, I have been actively avoiding learning what this deck does since I started playing yu gi I'm not going to lie. So, I'm excited. I know Hanzo is the best one, I think. So, I'll just answer for next week already. Cool, note that one down. Um, Jake. I'm dreading this. Uh, I'm going to give you S-Force. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God <laughs> fucking damn. And that's, uh, that's this That is week's... this week's version of What the Deck Doing? Yep, so um, tune in next Look. week and we'll have more updated. I like this segment. I like this segment. Don't know if the viewers do, but we'll find out. Yeah, we again. probably should put it after news. But let's get into the news. Yep. Yes, let us. Uh, Let's get so, right. uh, da, 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 I had it. I'm on the wrong page. Here we go. Uh, so we've had some products announced of late. Um, so we know of um, the newest set that's coming out, uh, the Eldorado. 
Um, oh yeah, sh- that all that leg started coming out. Yeah, so um, have we got I'm going to blame it on the Italians. Eldritch it's yet? not one. Have we got the fusion for Eldritch? Yes, yeah, so I came out like three sets ago, bro. <laughs> Where have you been? Did you know this, Brack? Yes. Oh god. Oh god, I know less than Brack. <laughs> oh god, I'm, I'm less up to date than Brack. Hold on. I'm constantly reading new cards. Oh god, I've always like, <laughs> oh, no. bro. I still don't know what Tri Brigade did. <laughs> They've, <laughs> They've been the best been deck the meta for, for the last four months. Four months. <laughs> bro. Anyway, still don't read them. They're like, very simplistic. I like them the when they were They're called They're similar Brodo. to um, Zodiac in a sense, in that they don't really do <sighs> a lot to get to where they need to go. Yeah. And then they just like back it up with Imperial Order, which they always open. You know what I call Zodiac? Boodyac. Boodyac. Yeah. <laughs> Shut who, up! Who would have seen that coming? <laughs> anyway. I forgot what my deck was. Elder. <laughs> Ninjas. Uh, so. In Paris. We have several leaks. Um, the first of which is an alt art of Rescue Cat, uh, which oh, yeah. I find derpy and gross. Yeah. But... It would look nice in Old Secret. But it's going to be super good for, um... Speaking of derpy cats. Speaking... <laughs> it's going to be super good for Edison, so woohoo. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, that's we, suppose... uh, we did actually struggle to find enough rescue cats for Edison, didn't we? Yeah, I only have two. Yeah, that's only two decks worth of rescue cats. <laughs> we have eight. Um, on the topic of alt arts, we've also got the, um, the oh Red my... Eyes Black Dragon God, alt art. that is awful. Yeah, it doesn't look <clears throat> great in gold, to be oh honest. Oh my gosh, it's, show, um... show Oh yeah. Yeah, that is that's left a foul taste in my mouth. Does like, not semen. look no. great. Uh, so the IP alt art is supposed to be coming out in this is as well. Oh yeah, yeah, with on the black. What? Up, up. God, they really held oh, off oh. that IP alt art, didn't they? Oh no, it's just twisters. Just in twister. Or is that just twister? No, twin surely twister. not printing twister. I found out about a card today called Mystical Wind Typhoon. Oh, is it, is just that... does what Mystical Space Typhoon does, but it has to be like Chain Link 4. Yeah, it's, it's, that's the Chain Link stuff. Yeah. yeah. What's sounds going on awful. there? That sounds really uh, bad. Typhoon was at one at the time, I'm pretty sure. Um, so beyond that, we also have uh, Alter Guys reprints. There's also rumoured to be the uh, updated uh, monsters for that as well, like the, mm. the last ones from the actual anime. It's the one that lets you link from hand and the link four. Um... We've got train reprints. We've got dino reprints. Uh, looks to be some striker stuff in here as well because there's giant a reprint Rex of Rose being reprinted. Uh, not giant Rex, no. <laughs> well, not that I know of. Um, Soul eating Obi Raptor is, which has been due for a reprint for a while. Giant Rex has one print. Yeah, but it was pretty common at the time, to be honest. It's an ultra. Um, we've also got, yeah, but it was in a set that was all ultra. It was pretty ultra at the and time. secret. It's still. It's actually like almost ten dollars each now. Yeah, but it's only dino, so you can. Um, looks like we're getting some co-talker stuff in here as well, and uh, finally, and least surprisingly, Eldritch stuff. Oh. So, looks to be the stuff that we didn't get in the first gold reprint, so the uh, Black Elixir, um, probably the Sanguines, it looks to be the uh, Golden City card as well. It's almost like the Eldritch stuff should have just been in this set. But I don't know. Can I go on a rant real quick about dinosaurs? Just a very quick rant. I want to say... Dinosaur players are all fucking babies. Their card that they said, oh, it's not even the good. It went to one. They were like, oh, it doesn't deserve to get hit. It's not that good. It went to one. They all just gave up. The deck's still entirely fine and it functions the exact same way. They just can't play through every fucking hand trap now and they're like, <laughs> fuck well, you. Well, I think, <laughs> I think people have now realized, like, Trying to negate the soul eating is wrong. You negate the miscellaneous. <coughs> oh, don't. <coughs> I choked on water. <coughs> so, unrelated to this choking Bruh. noise, we're looking for a new member. Um, <laughs> no, we're not. Um, Jesus yes. Christ. So, uh, beyond that, we also have. Uh, da, 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 da. There was more news I oh, had. Oh, yeah, so the, the Scrap Dragon was in the other. Oh, yeah, of yeah there, there was a whole bunch of leaks before. I can't find the thing anymore, but yeah, there was a, a Scrap Dragon reprint. Hooray. <laughs> that hasn't been printed in a while, eh? No. Goblin. Give me Goblin! Oh, if you go back to playing Scraps, when you verse Walkist, you can uh, cross out. 
Yeah, scrap recycle. <laughs> That wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, beyond that as well, we've recently, very recently, been uh, told that we're getting a second iteration of Ghost from the Past. Ew. Uh, so I'm going to read exciting. directly from the blurb here. I didn't mind the old one. Let's, we'll touch on that after I read the blurb. Uh, the second Ghost from the Past is releasing in April 2022 and is to follow up last spring's phenomenal Ghost from the Past. <laughs> it's got more of everything that made so Ghost from the Past this. a smash hit, including <laughs> even more Ghost Rares. It's not just the roster of Ghost Rares that's expanded either. The drop rate has two, so twice as easy to pull a Ghost Rare this time around. On top of that, each box contains next... Oh, of, each box of the next Ghost from the Past uh, set has... They didn't put a spe- space there. That's fucking retarded. Set has four packs instead of three, giving you even more cards per box. Um, from there, I won't read them. Uh, but basically, this to me reads like an admission of guilt. They said the last one was bad. You struggled to pull a Ghost. What do you mean? They said was... it was incredible and super well received. And they were... Why is not there five packs? Like... Four packs is just so... The three packs was shit. What? Three packs was bad. Just Four packs. packs is awkward. Oh, wait, I'm thinking of a different set. What do yes, you think you are? are? You... No, but I thought it came in a box. It did. This this did. What's the... With alternative... Four, four with packs alter- and stuff. Yeah, and it was it was it had alternative on the front. It was all silver and... Yeah, it, had... it came in its own individual box within a big display box, but it wasn't like a normal set. I thought it was a normal set. Oh, I'm thinking of Red Rock. Oh, <laughs> That's in the whole separate other Because it also had the ghost. It had, yeah, it had one there ghost. This one had three. I don't think I ever opened this set at all. Yeah, and... Because no, it was, it was really well, expensive should... over here. It was 40 bucks for three packs. It was a lot to spend, and the pull rates for ghosts was atrocious. And the pull rates for anything good was atrocious. Was I ended up Oh, like, the set was bad. Yeah, and I had, like, a lot of... Because, tr- I mean, I, I would generally buy one or two of packs or whatever like and yeah that one was like look yeah, I don't like packs because like there might be some semblance of value whereas if yeah. in this set if you did not pull the ghost you negged really it, hard hold on so 2020 like tw- wait was it last year or this year uh they're saying 2022 and last year so I'm assuming that it was 2021 so was it earlier yeah, this year because I do not remember yeah it was, tw- yeah, it was 2021 um yeah, geez, lockdown has really uh, warped me. Because yeah, that's right, I had all the sun, I have a lot of the sun's head stuff. Yeah, I had, had the, the re- star the re- the in Yeah, because like, all I remember wanting from this was like... To be fair, if you pulled a ghost ray, you were sad. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I was, if you oh, pulled a ghost oh my god, the go- have you seen what the ghost ray dark magician goes for now? How it much? would go for a fortune. Almost a grand. Jeez. Yep. That's what, I mean, that's the only one I've, like, I wanted. Because that firewall wasn't... The firewall and black luster were not appealing at all and alternative sucks. Crystal looked nice, though. Yeah, well, you could almost get past having the BLS now that there's an ulti in circulation, so, like, you, like it obviously depends on your personal taste, but I prefer the ulti over the ghost. That's right. I want it evenly managed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... Oh, wait, no. I owned these at one point. I owned the evenly matches from the set, and I sold them to... Wait, didn't you own the other evenly matches? Oh, never mind. I the other ones. Yeah. And I sold them to... I want to say I sold them to Jesse, but then I feel like I actually sold them for Lewis. And yeah, even I feel like I sold them to Jesse, and then I <gasps> bought them again from someone else for less than I bought from Jesse, and then I sold them to Lewis, and Lewis's dog ate them. Oh, we didn't talk about Myst- <laughs> Mystic Mind's getting a gold print in Eldorado. It is, and I'm glad you brought us back to this, because do you know what else I just found out? It's getting Remember when they said, yeah. oh, Mystic Mind's getting the super print. Oh, it's going to get the Weather Painter Rainbow. <gasps> it's getting a reprint brag this is your time it is I don't know what it's time for but it, it is time ooh, ooh rare scrap live urn would be cute I mean oh my yeah. god <laughs> isn't the life. fridge getting reprinted as well uh, that was the rumour but we haven't seen it yeah it's not been confirmed imagine yet. making that up <laughs> imagine somebody just sitting there being like what can I put in here to make it believable fridge <laughs> <laughs> fridge uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it had sun vines. I, I want to get this deck. 
Mate, I mean, whoever I gets me next week, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make you learn what's his tech. Oh no, scrap dragons are rare. Oh well. I guess they have the ulti. That's all good. Oh, Phantom Knights of Ancient Cloak will be in here as a rare. Um I should just buy the commons. I should just buy that deck. How much is how much is the deck on eBay? Your most expensive things are gonna be the Bardish and the Torn Scales. Uh, I mean, I mean the um. Didn't it come in that box with the three decks, the hero deck? Yeah. Hero. Is Bardish Surely, because you're not going to get a playset of everything in there. Remember? No. So I'll buy three of them. Bro, it is much cheaper for you to actually buy the deck. Who else come up with? Seventy six dollars. So that would be <laughs> what? $230? Yeah, but I also get Including the, shipping? I also get the hero decks. You don't want those. I should have bought one of these when I saw it. 76 that, bucks for this! There was value at the time. Oh, this had the, um... Had the the Ghost the yeah. Ghosts from the Past had Royal Prison in it. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's not the card I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of Royal Oppression. Oh, wow. Yeah, that does not get a in some time. Common Style and Boots is... 6 bucks. Damn. The cheapest goes. You did be picking pricey decks. Is Destiny and Dragoon is four fifty from this set. Oh, had junk forward. That's right. Um, this was meant to have the other level three spammable extender card in it. Um, that's goes in the past. Let's not Matt Eldorado. Um, Kegamuchi Knight. Oh yeah, yeah. That's getting yeah. That's an Eldorado reprint. And that will be sick because oh, those cards are Because I keep losing them. Um, anyway, so Ghost from the Past. It's probably going to be a reworking of that Japan December set again. What, the secret one that they're calling it? The secret box? Yeah, one? yeah. So I imagine the... Um, shiny. They're calling it Shiny. Yeah. Sorry. I imagine they're going to have the uh, Kaiju Sky Striker in there, which I'm not sure we talked about on this before. We should have, because I find that card outrageous. I, it, it, it makes me so angry. It came after we recorded Huh. We didn't know about it at the time. That was ridiculous. That that card is ridiculous. It makes me angry. <laughs> Stop <laughs> giving Sky Striker support. Uh, imagine. Stop bringing its cards off the list. You've got a Dragoon, right? Let's say you've got a Dragoon. And you've opened. And your opponent activates Engage. You now have to negate it. Why can't you negate? Wait, does it, does it tribute for cost or tribute for effect? It tributes for cost, right? It's a Kaiju. Oh, so it is a proper... It's a proper it's a kaiju. proper kaiju. You just have to Not control... Not by name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, cool. You just I have to control a monster. You need to control specifically a Ray monster. So you need to either have oh. the Ray token or Ray it herself. So pretty much, if your oh, opponent wow. summons a Ray and you've got a big monster on board, you, know. you need to fuck it off immediately. What's that? Yes. Sky Striker H something. It's, it's ridiculous. We live in a world where we live in a society is searchable that isn't in Dino, and at least Dino have to fuck around with it a little bit. Like they can't just fair. go. Oh, Sky Striker Ace CDI. isn't isn't Rose an Ace? Yeah, Rose is also an Ace. Yeah. Because so it's any of the Sky Striker monsters that can go in the main monster zone, like not extra deck monsters, essentially. Yeah. You oh, we're still it. due two more um, no nope. spells as well. No, nope, shut up. Yeah, but it's going to be like the last one, right? Like Scissor Kick or whatever. Scissor where it's like cross. Just send two of... Oh, you can play that in a high <laughs> Huh? You know Scissor Cross? Yeah, I know what it does. What, is, what are you talking about? Uh... Oh, wait, no, not that one. I like, I like Scissor Cross. What's Do they play the one? The Sky Striker card that just mills. Vector? No, Vector's good. I think it is Vector you're thinking of. I think so, oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I don't yeah. know what it is. Yeah, it is Vector. How about that? Sufu. So what does it do? If you control no monsters in your main monster zone, each player sends the top two cards to the deck to the graveyard. <laughs> uh, then, if you send at least one card to the graveyard and have three or more spells in your grave, you can shuffle all opponent's monsters from the <laughs> extra monster zone. Extra monster zone. This card is bad. <laughs> Look... Actually, I think it was announced at a time where we were still in the old master rule, but by the time we actually got it, we were out of it, so everyone just looked at it like, this is bad. 
Nah, it, no one would have played it anyway. That's I think people would have played it as a one-off. No, nah, this card sucks. This most, card is bad. That's done with your news, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Alright, well, in the most breaking of all news, the most important news of the week you're going to hear, Speed Jewels can, can, have can, a, oh. a skill, uh, a rider of the skill cards. A rider? Yeah, so oh. they're, they're ridering the Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. No! In a conflict no! and twist of personality. Have they made it once per duel now? I mean, it was already once per duel. Is it, now you have to choose between the effects? Uh, no. You can't summon again that turn. Like, you can only summon with that card that turn, or like... Yeah, uh, that's the the summon of the uh, of the insect is the only thing you can do that turn. Yep. Um, and then also they change the rules <laughs> for the rest of it. The erratas, the nerfs to um, Inner Conflict and... Uh, twisted personality made sense but then uh, previous to this I'm pretty sure you couldn't respond to the summon because it's it's summoned by skill not by effect I'm not too sure about that but I assume so but now you can respond to like with the trap hole or something yeah which, because the last thing that happened was the summon yeah it was the summon not the thing so yeah they just clarified that a- apparently uh, giant moth is not the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh it was for a very long time <laughs> in that game absolutely the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh and that's why uh, what was it um, uh, Parasite 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 oh, oh yeah not that one the other one yeah the other Parasite yeah. Paranoid Paranoid yeah was like a $50 speed duels card thank you <laughs> and it was like mandatory three of in the best deck I think it's probably still expensive there's a reason I never built the deck but Union's probably best now if we're following I don't think it'll be too bad. Is there like an archetype m- metalizing parasite? I'll be super keen to look at this format and then never think about it again. Are you talking about speed or Yeah. Or? I've never seen this before in my life. Oh, I have. Huh. Interesting. You keep that in the back of your mind for archetype. No, what the deck doing? Yeah, it's oh, the, those old Union ones. I'll give you Ayatsu, Soyatsu, or whatever. Oh, the planes. Plane so boys Because that's um, MFC as well I'm pretty sure that card It's still average 51 Parasite Paranoid Lowest 30 Damn. Speed jewel cards Speed they, Because it has one printing they're, they're all worth money And I don't know anyone who plays it <laughs> Remember when I used to shout out That Speed Bill's place in like Darwin uh, It wasn't in South Australia Is that Darwin Darwin? <laughs> oh my gosh I thought Darwin was south no, Darwin's north Adelaide oh, south. Oh, south is south. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they don't exist. Do we have any questions? We yes, do. We We've do. We have got a lot of week. questions, yes. Uh, so we'll start with one of the more recent ones that I don't think we've answered. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, we already did that one last week. Da, 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 da. I'm starting to think Doritos and cheese is a healthy dinner. No. I'm starting to think um, four muffins in a day is also not healthy. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, we have a question from oh, Rye Guy. Calories each. When you get busy in life, how do you keep up with Yu Gi Oh? Or do you take some time off? Well, as you can see by the fact that we've had two uploads in three months, uh, we take a bit of time off. Um, I didn't say that. Life we... has to come first, essentially. Yeah. Look, while these two I have always come different first. priorities in mind, I didn't take any time off the game as such. It was more so the the podcast and things that didn't really happen in that time and that's not to say there wasn't attempts I think we recorded like one or two during lockdown that just didn't make it we recorded further three than that. that we didn't put out but yeah. it was because I went through there, there was a myriad of stuff that led to the the break that we had um, but well, we're, we're okay now we're doing alright I mean well, the, the look the uh Thumbnail yeah. for the last podcast is pretty ropey. Where instead of giving it, you know, an actual thing, I just said, uh, We'll update podcast thumbnail later and crossed out Ben's face and wrote Brad. There was a time where I was working crazy hours at work and then still, like, because Yu Gi Oh! was a huge part of my life and like my social life too, for whatever that's worth. Um, and so I always did make it a thing. We were watching but a was... podcast the other day when you were doing the podcast from work because we could see the Mac in the background. It was like practicing on a Mac. 
Yeah, dude. <laughs> Do you? I mean, it's in the bin now, but I had a Mac. Well, maybe you were at home then. In the rack. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that was 100%. Like, that was it on its last legs. But you've legs. definitely done it from work. Um, I definitely remember. I dialed in a Ben stream from work this year, but... Uh, actually, no, yeah, we've done an emergency podcast from work for Banlist. Um, I've recorded videos at work. The Cosmo video? Yeah. Yeah. Cosmo and um, what do you call Burger, it? Burglar. So yeah, that's it. Just uh, if life gets too busy, you just start trying to fit Yu-Gi-Oh into other parts of your work. Like I'll just actively read uh, um, Yu-Gi-Oh organization at work, just stay up to date and stuff. Like yeah, cursor read here and there. But then it does make room for you know other social endeavors or other mobile phone games. Pokemon Go. Which I play every day. Yeah, it effectively depends on your priorities, right? Like, if you have 17 other things going on, you don't have the time to do them all. You need to work out which ones are more important to you. Um, that, and I've been thinking about the Pokemon card game a, lot, a bit more than I probably should. I've not thought about Pokemon in quite some time, and that's mainly because I put my money and time into a deck that uh, became dead. Well, I was thinking I'm the opposite. Like I had put my, well, I mean, it became dead after two years, but I was feeling really happy that it was actually a good deck that I was ahead of the curve on. Yeah, I put my stuff into a good deck and then played it really poorly, and then realised I, I just don't really like Pokemon. Yeah, the TCG very much, but I do very much enjoy Digimon. Yeah, okay, very well, hard digital there. monsters. We're going to keep watching that show. <laughs> but, yeah, we need to start watching it again. Yeah. So yeah, that answers that question. Prioritise what you like most and do that. Indulgence. What the fuck is that? I think you just start putting stuff back from like your graveyard into your deck or hand from deck. It's it's bad. It's not good. Um anyway. Um another question from Rai Guy is what do you think about Duel Links getting pendulums and when do you think Dynamis will be tier zero? I think it's this is a trap question. Ah, indulgence, I think, is extra. Ah. Um, anyway. What was the question? Uh, question is, what do you think about Duel Links getting pendulums, and when do you think Dynamis will be tier zero? The second it releases? No, oh my god. Like, legitimately, if it gets the pendulum... Like, and it will get the pendulum zones with through Sylvia. Uh, the second it gets Howling, that's the best deck in, in, in the game, pretty much. So, by that account, then, do you think they will legitimately get Howling? Yeah, I think if fucking Overload uh, and Cybernetic Fusion or whatever can exist at the same time, I think a Bounce 1 can happen. Essentially. And it's Dynamist. I don't think they're too afraid of making... I think... By and large, I'm not too scared of them being like, oh, Dynamist is going to be too broken to print. If you know what I mean. What's that look? No. Okay. That's a... <laughs> nah, this is a... I, I've become those people that only know the Japanese name of anime characters. So I had to look up who Silvio was. Shinga. Yeah, well, in the nah. manga, is the only time he plays Dynamist. Yeah. And then he upgrades to Yosenju. And then he upgrades to Abyss Actus. Yes, upgrades. Um, By the way, there's one of this actor going <laughs> on. Is it Curtain Razor? No, there's just one, right? And it's because they just wanted to make because sh- his effect currently, like one of his effects, helps you send you an Abyss Actors, but they had to make an Abyss Actor oh, name for the effect yeah. to actually like do anything. So like, there's only one, or at least I think so. I think there's only one. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused about that. Oh, the is going to be there eventually. So. I hope so. I would get Draco Pals again. Mm. You could nearly do it because it wouldn't be like Cyber Dragon, Cyber Infinity bullshit, right? Is Cyber Infinity and your Duel Links? No. Cyber Dragon Infinity. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. You're fine then. Yeah. What other broken rank fours are in the game? Cowboy. Yeah, <laughs> Just 400 damage. That's so ridiculous. Use the other effect. 
you're like, oh, it needs to be halved because we only have half the life, but it's like, okay, half the attack then. Oh, wait, no, that's different for some reason. Shut well, up. We'll yeah, for that. Okay. Attack. Anywho, uh, last question, also from Ragai. Uh, what is your least favourite tournament regulation, like time rules and stuff? For me, it's the hygiene rule. The grease helps me play better, personally. <laughs> so this has been a question for... This? this has been a question for nearly a month. And I've been waiting till now to... Well, we, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I, I read this basically the day it was posted. And it, it stayed in the back of my mind the whole time. Yeah, it's been lingering back there like a bad smell. This is one of the... This is... This gets the award. Worst question we've ever been asked. <laughs> it is... It's, it's up there. <laughs> And while we appreciate your contribution, Rug it's, it's, I hope it's a joke. It kind of makes me want to throw up. Of it's course it's a really joke. really close. Uh, intentional drawing or intentionally conceding. Yeah, that not being allowed is ridiculous. Yeah. It's kind of a thing everywhere else, but at the same time, um, tournaments are run better by most other organisations. Like, Pokemon runs theirs a lot better. In the way that points accumulate, and... oh, I thought they were doing that all the time. Hmm? They they draw in that all the time, don't they? Oh, he's saying that he wants them. You're saying you don't. I, yeah, I, I want intentional draws. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. That's yeah, that's what he's saying. Yeah, and Pokemon has that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, that's why I'm saying Pokemon's much better. Gotcha. Did and you just have in terms of the way that the price support is spread out over Pokemon, people don't mind if they're drawing to get to X amount because there's more space available. The pricing's better. Blah 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 blah. Whereas in Yu-Gi-Oh, the pricing is so top-heavy and terrible that if you do not win absolutely every single thing you can, you will get nothing. Yeah. So it, that creates cunty people that are like, oh, if we both draw at this point, we could both progress. Like, this and then is, I lower the things, so you get to die. This just does come back to... Hmm, just an experience at a YCS that I won't elaborate on. I'm pretty sure I half did it on this podcast before. I will not elaborate. Deck list runs two X traps. But it's just it's and one loser turn. It does come across as very selective as well. Of that, it's just who can sneak in the the draw. Like, yeah, how can you play it smart? It's just another random element that, or or if the judge likes you and judge doesn't like another person, so they would kept pulling up on that. I don't know, just it. Do the current rules leave too many inconsistencies? Yeah, there's too much grey area. Yeah. Um, there's too much... I think under good judges, the rules would be fine. However, Yu-Gi-Oh! judges are notoriously uh, the worst judges in trading card games, essentially. Because they are so ingrained in the, the culture of the... Um... It's not always... Like, it's not really, like, vendor culture, but it's, like, vendors that you'll see, like, with with the culture I'm trying to talk about, where it's, like, kind of cunty. Yeah, from the from the top down, um, the people who run the, the judge, um, what do you call Like, Gumby, Cook? Daniel Smith, very good dude. Yeah. I, he, no problem. Um, there's another Don, like, I think the very top is okay, but it's, like... Where they can't really see. I'm like the very, very top, like the people above them. Obviously, I'm not. In the obviously, with them. yeah, that's the yeah. It's look. There is definitely a problem with the way that Yu Gi Oh events are judged at quite a few different levels, and like it, it obviously is a thing from top down. Like the amount of times that judges have ruled incorrectly um, based on whatever, whether it be a personal bias for a player that they're looking at. Um, whether um, like sometimes I've, it leads to topping, yeah, like coming second in the mega regionals, yeah. <laughs> um, I've also heard, and this is only what I've heard, so I can't really confirm that this is true. Um, I have heard of deck lists being passed out by judges to players um, of other top players, so that they know exactly what Whoa. they're playing. Yeah, I've heard that. I haven't heard that, but I don't talk to anyone, so. Probably why I haven't heard yeah. um, I would absolutely believe it was some of the judges I know of. Yeah. Like, most people can think of a judge that they'd be like, oh yeah, I could see that person doing that. Yeah. And yeah, like, just super dodge. And 
I think part of it as well is that there is some ambiguity around some rulings as well. And it, like, obviously, uh-huh. handing out deck lists is just flat out wrong. But like, when it comes to ruling correctly and incorrectly and stuff, a lot of that has to do with the ambiguity of some rulings and it just sort of being left to different tournaments to decide as to what happens. And I feel like this could be where Master, Master Duel, Duel or yeah. Duel Master, whatever it ends up being called. Probably not Duel Masters. <laughs> Probably not that. Um, <laughs> where Master Duel could really clear a lot of that up because there will be a Konami-based defined ruling for how things work. It's yeah. gonna have room rule. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna, it's gonna be scum. It's gonna be like activate howling and uh, thing in response, and the game's just gonna crash. Like it's, it's, it's gonna have no idea at certain rulings. Like, is it? Because this is coming out in Japan and TCG, right? Mm-hmm. How's the Ghidorah ruling gonna work? Mm-hmm. Are they gonna base it off OCG, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna counter? Or are they gonna do different rulings? Well, That's retarded. Well, this is the thing. This is where a lot of those inconsistencies can get cleared up. Like, yeah, this in Australia, on. we still don't know if we're playing by the revised rules of that trap monsters no longer take up the back row or whether they do. Like, It's kind of weird that we're they still, We're still unsure of whether DD Crow, again, in Australia, will block the Ben 10 activation yeah. and BA effects. Like, There's a reason the, no one here is looking for... Um, s- 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 cycle like Reader. Oh yeah, no because one's looking for Cycle Readers here, because it doesn't apply It now. doesn't do anything to Drytron, essentially. And you want it to do something, and it does, in every other place. But not Australia, because we haven't had the information sent to us. They've literally forgotten about us. Why do we not have events yet? They're planning events in America. Well, we do have events. We've got extravagances. Local run events. No, no, extravagances are like... They're planning YCSs for America, though. They have like 20,000 Yeah, but they're their biggest region as well so for them to get back into profit in those regions that's where they need to start and us being on the back of Europe's has always hampered us like we're like we're like the fifth European YCS so like we just shouldn't be a part of Europe a Brexit if you will an Oxit yeah we're gonna leave Europe we're gonna leave Eurovision no, no, no. Pull up that... Ah, what's it? The thing I don't watch that makes my man happy. that stupid song. Uh, Guy Sebastian. No. <laughs> oh, wait, it's... Uh, go to Thumbo. I was going to say Selena Gomez. Jessica Malboy. Nah, it's not Didn't she time. go to Eurovision? Yeah. There we go. I know not, no, I'm talking about the, the, the new one. Is it Greta Thumbo? No, I don't... I got an email of Greta Thunbo. I was like, what the fuck did I sign up for this shit? <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. Go away. <laughs> They're like, oh, really? I've got a <laughs> <laughs> Keep fighting for those weather painters. <laughs> and scrap recycler. <laughs> Actually, is that an archetype that's come out? Like a like ecological archetype? Scraps, maybe? Uh, Infinitrack. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Greta Thunberg really loves Infinitrack. <laughs> Bro, when, I, when I'm playing Infinitrack and someone beats me with weather painters, I'm like, how dare you? <laughs> every, t- <laughs> every time you win with Infinitrack, that was for you, Greta. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> time to catch a boat over to Sweden or whatever. <laughs> was it Seb only realising that, like, the... Uh... The new sets legal is like oh, I would have played sushi ships. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm um, at the extreme again, so. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he have sushi ships already? Is it sushi no, ships no. or is it sushi? Well, he's got the old stuff, and I bought a box, so there would have been enough of the new stuff. And then he's like, ah, oh, like I'm gonna pick this stuff up and we'll play it um, whenever. I was like, you could play it today. He's like, <gasps> <laughs> look. Uh, at that point, I'd like it. Where he is at the moment, I'd do anything to get off fucking Sky Striker. The deck is so boring. Yeah. I beat him the same way twice today when I was versing him in like a proper tawny. Summon Purgatrio is to bait out that he has to summon back the Ray mm. and then negate it with Macabre. Do you Wait. think the best variants of this deck are Pure and Mech Knight? Yeah, makes sense. Because they tried Fluffle, True, Draco, and Volcanic. And it didn't I, are work. you accusing him <laughs> of being boring by pulling off that play? 
So say again. Are you accusing him of being boring by pulling off that play you just described? No, not him. Sky Striker has been boring. Hmm. Interesting. Make a bu- make a minute gate. Boring. Hmm. This was made when it- <laughs> this was made when he it- <laughs> dropped a Cody Summers at one. <laughs> I'm scared because of two. What is Kaiju Slumber right now? Skepnut's at one. Uh, oh, right? Three. Skepnut bad. Yeah, three. I was about oh, to get... I thought you were doing this. I was about to get this. Zero. Oh, I'm never getting the Skepnut's off Benny, am I? Oh, what? Well, Benny man. It still yeah. does the same number. <laughs> 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 it's only just a Skepnut. <laughs> no, what's up? He's, he led his Skepnut's to Benny Man's. <laughs> well, it came into locals the other day. We were like... Put your mask on, and he was like, ah. It was like, put your fucking mask on, cunt. Oh my god. And, and he then works, he left very quickly. And he works He was with his down. wife, though, so good on them. Working it out. And the kids. Yep, this is definitely something that should be discussed in the podcast. Um, so, on that note, let's finish discussing the podcast. Um, thank you all for listening. Uh, feel free to ask us any questions in our Discord. Like and subscribe. Uh, if you have anything pertinent or any suggestions, feel free to either jump in our Discord or email us at teamcfg at gmail.com. Discord comments and YouTube comments are better. Yeah. Yeah, that too. So we, we haven't read them, so... Oh, yeah. we, we don't anything, often so. read our emails, so no, if you want to get onto us... Emails. I get them sent, but... We don't often... No, 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 shut up. We don't often read our emails, so getting onto us on YouTube and Discord is preferable. Slide in the DMs, yeah. Yeah. Slide in the Not my private ones, or I will be. Uh, thanks for listening. No Bye! I went like this. Just, <laughs> I did the struggles.